Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I want to talk about the seven reasons why your ex contacts you and then disappear. Ugh, is there anything more frustrating? You were just starting to get over them. You were doing well in no contact. You were thinking maybe you'll move on and then boom, all of a sudden they pop up, then you respond, and then they disappear. What is going on? Well, I will explain exactly what's going on. But first, I want to welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. Our Android version is finished. We are just putting the finishing touches on it. And of course, I'm talking about my app Silencio for those who don't know. And it will soon be available in the Google Play Store. So listen here to let, uh, and I'll let you know when it's available. And if you too would like to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in and to read our manual go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book and the link to that is under every video and every podcast okay so i had actually previously done a video on this topic about five years ago and i will put the link up here at the top and i thought it was time to revisit it because i did say something in that video that i no longer agree with and if you're a longtime listener, you'll know what it is. Basically, at that point, I was saying that you could respond when you hear from your ex. And then if they disappear, then you don't respond until they say something significant. But now I've changed my stance. And that is that you do not respond to breadcrumbs. You only respond if they say something significant. That way, if you don't respond, then they can't disappear again because since you never engaged with them, then you haven't broken no contact and therefore they didn't disappear again because you never responded. But that is not the only reason I wanted to redo this video about why an ex would contact you and then disappear. I have a bunch of reasons why someone would do that and I know a lot of you are confused because I've seen the comments and under that video. So, okay, here we go. One reason is that they're trying to get you to chase. And by the way, this is also why some people ghost sometimes. They feel they don't have the power or they're trying to gain more power. And in you going radio silent or no contact, they may have changed their minds and they don't want to just come out and say, hey, I changed my mind, I made a mistake. Nobody wants to admit they made a mistake. So instead they, they try to bait you and they're like, okay, I'm going to reach out, talk for a few days and then whoosh, disappear and their hope is that especially if you were needy in the relationship especially if you were begging and pleading after the breakup they hope that you will start chasing them and then it'll make it seem like they came back because you chased them and you convinced them meanwhile they want to come back uh, another reason is they want reassurance that you're still interested again with no contact if you were needy even if you weren't they thought for sure that you would try to get them back and they see as time goes by you're living your life they might be watching you on social media and it looks like you're not going to be reaching out and they're having doubts so they just want reassurance in case they want to come back not necessarily they want to but just in case they just want to make sure you're still sitting there waiting for them again a great reason not to respond to breadcrumbs the third reason is ego so again, our friend no contact causes this because again, they thought you were going to chase. They may not even want you back, but it's like, what? You're not even, you're not even going to try to get me back? I thought you were so into me. You were so in love with me. So they just want the ego reassurance that you do want them back. And so they see by your conversation, by the things you say, by how quickly you respond, and then they disappear. And they want to see if you're going to keep trying try to keep the conversation going. And that's all just ego-based. doesn't mean they want you back. Again, a great reason to not respond to breadcrumbs. Another reason is just curiosity. Again, <laughs> same reason. <laughs> You've disappeared. You're quiet. It's pretty much all the same reason. And they're just wondering. It's like, what is going on? I thought he was so into me. I thought she was so into me. I thought he couldn't live without me. What is going on? So they're just trying to see 
you know, especially uh, they want to see if maybe you're dating someone and that's why all of a sudden they're not important to you anymore. So curiosity. And then the next reason is anxiety. They may have an anxious attachment style or they're just anxious about this particular situation. Again, they thought they would hear from you. Again, you say no contact, you listen to me. And so they reach out. And if you didn't know about not responding to breadcrumbs, then you respond and now you've appeased their anxiety and now they disappear. The next reason is because in that moment they were missing you. Something triggered them that reminded them of you or the relationship, of good times in the relationship. And they just felt like having a connection. Again, not necessarily to get back together. They just want to feel that connection that they once had with you. It felt good. And so they text you and then you text back. Hopefully not. <laughs> but anyways, if, if they manage to have a conversation with you, now they get their hit of dopamine of feeling good. Now it's like, uh, yeah, okay, I'm good. I don't miss them anymore. So goodbye. Then they disappear. Cruel thing to do, I know. But they're not thinking of you in that moment. They're thinking of themselves. And then finally, a final reason is that they're seeing someone else and they're either losing interest in that person or they had a fight and so they reached out to you to make sure again that you're still available and still interested and if you engage then they know okay good if it doesn't work out with this rebound then I can always go back to my ex so these are all great reasons to not respond if someone does not say something significant because if they want to get back together, they will say something significant. One of my um, clients heard from her ex after eight months, eight long months. <laughs> and his message was very significant. So we're going to wait and see how it all plays out now. And then I'll do a video on that. But I do want to read his um, text in that video, not in this one, because it was very, very, very significant. Okay, so I'll just go over the reasons again why your ex would contact you and disappear. One is to get you to chase. Two, reassure them you're still interested. Three, ego reasons. Four, curiosity. Five, anxiety. Six, missing you. And seven, they're seeing someone else and all is not well in that relationship. So now I want to hear from you. Have you heard from your ex and then they disappeared? What did you do? I know it's like, oh my God, you opened a wound. It was closing and now you appeared again and then you disappeared. It's almost like being rejected again. So this is why you don't want to respond unless it's something significant. And if you would like my help personally to get your ex back, contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is below every video and podcast. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. If you found the video helpful, I would appreciate if you would like, subscribe, and share. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.